Hi everyone, I'm Dan and I have Brian Weber here from Weber Automotive. Hi, so, Dan. how are you? I'm good, are you? Good. good. So, we're talking about tires. I mean, a lot of people get tires in the winter, but I'm assuming that there are all sorts of safety issues if you only think that way, right? Yep. So, yep. so what about worn tires? I mean, is it is it something that like even in the summer you should be replacing tires and mm -hmm. and what are really you know, what's the best time to replace the tire? Well, so the rule of thumb legally has kind of always been two thirty seconds. That's uh, on a penny. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, there's Lincoln's head. If you stick the the head in towards in the tread, the deepest part of the tread, and and you um, can see the top of the uh, Lincoln's head, the tires were worn too much. Okay. Right. Uh, but that's two thirty second. Two thirty seconds in the winter time around here is nowhere near enough. It's dangerous. Okay. So a quarter, um, it, it, you can do the same thing with a quarter, which is four thirty second. Okay. That's still marginal around here in the winter time because we get snow. Right. Um, so really, that four thirty seconds is a minimum. Most people go by six. Um, another thing to consider is not just the wear. Uh, it's it's time, and okay. there isn't really an expiration date on tires. But the Department of Transportation recognizes that six years is about the limit. Okay. Uh, because the rubber compound changes over time. Yeah. And that is uh, uh, when it when it starts to get uh, the rubber compound starts to go away. They don't work good in the rain so or in the snow it, anymore. Does it dry out? The rubber dries out. They'll dry out, and then they don't work very good in the rain and so the snow. So how about like recreational vehicles? I'm assuming same deal. Have car, uh, it probably does it happen faster, or is it kind of about the same? Uh, it's about the same. Okay. Six years is about the rule of thumb on that. The other thing is dry rotting or dry cracking. That yeah. can happen from sun. If okay. you're parked in the sun or you sit in the sun. Yeah. Um, that's another thing that can happen frequently. Another thing to talk about is winter tires. We have, mm -hmm. we're up here in the, in the climate where we have snow and cold. Uh, regular all season tires work good, kind of okay for everything. They right. don't work great in the snow though. If you really, really want to uh, have a, the best traction, uh, and the safest braking, steering, everything in the winter time around here, you winter tires, it's a different rubber compound. Okay. So they're more pliable below right. 45 degrees. Right. They're more pliable and they work. And then of course the tread is designed for snow and ice and it is remarkable night and day difference between a winter tire and an all season in the winter. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, so you guys have got all the tips you need on measuring your tires, replacing your tires, and also maybe uh, rotating your tires for summer and winter, depending on where you live and, and the season for that. Great way to go. Yeah, uh, weberautomotive.com. Brian and his team would be happy to help you out. Thank you. Thanks, Dan.